So The Sims 4 recently released their new expansion pack called The Sims 4 High School Years. And about a week ago, everyone on Sims YouTube was posting their early access content, except for <laughs> me and you probably. So we compromised and did every high school dorm as a different aesthetic without early access to this sacred pack. But now I have bought the pack and we are going to tackle The Sims 4, but every high school dorm is a different aesthetic, this time with the actual pack. So dramatic and for what? It. Whatever, roll it. Just like last time, we're gonna be spinning this wheel, seeing which random aesthetic we get, and decorating each room according to that aesthetic. This is the same one we used last time, but with a few extra thrown in there for a little sparkle. So we're gonna be building in the new world of Copperdale. This is the new world that comes with the new expansion pack. I'm gonna be building over here, I think. So first thing we have to do is build the actual dorm building. I'm gonna start out just by doing something pretty simple. The last one we did was pretty simple looking. And the story we're gonna go with today because last time we didn't really have a backstory with the building. This is going to be a dorm for where people living outside this world can come and live. Sims are basically just gonna come from far and wide to live at this really prestigious dorm hall and that's how we're gonna play it. This pack came with a lot of like art deco items which is so exciting to me. I love building in that style. So after I get this shell going I'm gonna be playing around a lot with a lot of the new items. So I feel like for now this could be a pretty good start. I'm gonna raise it up on that foundation and I'm gonna get my filter on to see what we can work with. I know there's a lot of like fences and things. I did get a chance to check out some of the build and buy and I'm obsessed. I'm so excited to do this interior. A lot of the items added are really trendy and colorful. They're really pretty. So I'm excited to show you guys some of those and put them to use. We're gonna use this fence here and we're gonna do a couple balcony bump outs here. So we'll do one there and we'll bring one out like this way. I think I can probably use the same fence along the side here. I also think I wanna bring this out and do a couple balconies here. We're gonna use a different fence here. I'm kind of playing around to see what I like. For the roofing, I wanna do two standout pieces like this and then I think I'm gonna copy and paste and bring in some smaller ones. It's looking a little crazy right now, but I do have faith we're gonna fix it. We'll get like a thick trim going on here and then I think I'm gonna add one more roof piece. Maybe right there coming off the front. Ooh, we got some fun new columns we can try. I love the designs on there. I'm gonna bring them all the way up to that roof piece that I just added. So kind of like that, we're gonna go and get a black roof paint, maybe with some glass on that accent there for the roofing. And we did get a new wallpaper that I wanna check out. Actually, I think we got a few. This one, I can't wait to use this one on the interior. I think it's so fun, colorful. But for the outside, I'm gonna just use this regular brick. We're gonna bring that all the way around the back here. We're gonna add some trim, which actually we did get a new one here as well. Some foundation paint. Ooh, nice new door. I love the details on these. The patterns are really cool. We got some new windows, of course. These are like the sneak out windows right here. I don't know how those are gonna work with my balconies, but your Sims can literally like jump out of there and escape. It's such a cool feature. A really fun like build item with gameplay attached to it. We're gonna bring the landscaping out and with my flooring, I'm just gonna carve out a few like hangout areas. I want there to be outdoor spaces for like the teens to hang out. I also wanna change my lot traits up here to like teen hangout. We can do teen neighborhood, good schools, or fast internet. Nope, school, okay. <laughs> Let's maybe bring this out to the side as well. We can do a little hangout spot in the back here. Some nice big glass windows going along the side here. And with all of the building complete, this is the exterior that we're gonna use for this build challenge here. So we've got the whole building. I love this added detail up top. This is a brand new roofing detail. So excited about this. I noticed also there's a few like fences that add roof trim and stuff in here somewhere. This is gonna be a really fun one to use on builds in the future. So we've got our front door area. We have a cute little picnic table spot over here with a padded bench. Around this way, we have a super cute like hangout area. There's a fire pit table, some like privacy with those hedges. This new plant item is really beautiful as well. We've got a rooftop balcony with a barbecue, a couple high top tables, exit spot in the back here, which I'm pretty sure I actually built this backwards. I do that sometimes when I prefer the lighting on a different way. So let's just turn it around. Anyway, this this is what we built for this challenge. I also did the interior, let me show ya. So I've done the community spaces, just kinda like getting myself familiar with the pack. So when you first walk in, we've got a huge table. This is gonna act as like a study space slash like reading area. And of course the dining table. <laughs> we've got some of the new items cluttering up those spaces over there. I did just a small little like TV space over here as well with some more like homework clutter. Through this way, we have our bathroom. We've got a couple Discover University 
shower heads in there as well so just to save some space but our bathroom looks really cute I love those like pinky colors and all of these swatches have like brown and beige tones that are really really nice to combine then through this way we have our kitchen I use some of the country kitchen kit stuff for this here I think it turned out really nice we've got this new garbage can right there so super cute little space we have downstairs and then upstairs this is where we're gonna start to have our dorm so we're gonna have two bedrooms over here I did a communal study space here with like a computer there some degrees on the wall and then upstairs we have two more bedrooms and I did like a laundry space here so sims can do their laundry on site which is very nice to have and we're gonna have two more bedrooms up here so to start we're gonna go over to the wheel let's go ahead and spin to see what we're gonna get for the first room we get party animal oh god okay so starting here we are gonna do party animal it's gonna be a little rough because we're in high school remember first thing I'm gonna do is delete these lights I'm gonna be replacing them all with neon which is kind of perfect because we got these like neon light strips here which I think I'm gonna move someone into live mode so I can change the color of these I feel like I should be putting them all around the entire room all or nothing so I changed the color and intensity for every single light in this room right away I'm getting the feeling that everyone who lives here is gonna be a little bit wild like maybe they're runaways from home they ran over to this place to go to high school here a home for runaway teens who have found each other they live together and they still want to get an education I think we're gonna go straight to my new favorite wallpaper here this one is so fun I, oh I want to see all the different swatches I think I might go with the default I love that for each dorm I'm gonna be giving them a bed and a desk to do like homework and stuff and then obviously we'll put our fun spin on it from there we gotta use this new mirror here this is probably one of my favorite new items I love the color swatches on there it's so pretty I need like bright fun for this this is gonna be the same who has everyone over for like after dark like weekend parties they're fun they're bold they're outgoing they're not afraid to get in trouble we're definitely gonna need like a radio I'm gonna use that new speaker there although this one is also really cool maybe we'll have both I'm gonna do a few TVs over here I'm gonna put a desk right here I'm gonna get one of the brand new like really nice computers those ones with the cool setup and the fun lights I'm so excited that we're starting off with like a bright bold one so my first idea was to go for like the keg stands with Discover University obviously I am an adult but I'm not about to condone underage drinking up in here so let's do balloons we can be partying it up with some other kind of beverage like this drink tray back there perfect maybe since this person is meant to be really outgoing and fun we could do like cheer squad stuff so I'm gonna put that cheerleading thing right here I think there's also like pom-poms that go on the wall which are really fun this person can be in charge of hosting like the pep rallies and stuff yeah here's the pom-poms I think they look cute I'm gonna put them on the wall like that we can do like two different colors maybe I'm a little short on room so I'm gonna be using this dresser here from tiny living I'm adding some party streamers for a little extra decoration in that back corner there and this is going to be our first room our party animal room I love this area over here with the computer and that mirror it just looks so good our drink table hidden in the back I just love how all these items look together it looks so pretty let's move on to the next one which we're gonna have to head back to the wheel for all right let's go ahead and spin to see what the second one is going to be we get Indy I was really hoping we would get this so we're gonna do this bedroom here for Indy and the reason why I was so excited about this is because we recently got this item and in there there's a whole bunch of different swatches like there's a bunch of records and this is totally gonna fit the indie style even like those Polaroids on there like this is the indie item so first we're gonna change our wallpaper I think I'm gonna keep the flooring pretty much the same for all of these I do want to do like one brick wall though so brick accent wall maybe should I use a different swatch for this now nah, I'll let the party room have it this is gonna be my inspiration here whatever I think indie bedrooms I always think like like I said those records on the wall the vines those like fake vines are really popular in these and looks like just like white walls but a lot going on on those walls so I think I'm gonna do like an off-white like maybe just this cream color here or even like a gray I want to use these here from the blooming rooms kit but I feel like I should add something else 
to those. Maybe we could just do something like that for now. For my bed, I kind of want to use one of these ones. So I'm going to do that one for now. I might change it up depending on how this turns out, but let's go back to these. I really want to start to add a bunch of these. With like a shelf up top, I think. I want to have multiple different swatches of these, so I'm going to place them there and just like play around. Maybe we do the Polaroids more close to this. With these lights hanging, these are from the little campers kit. I'm going to raise them up so they're hanging below my shelf. I will also say this stuff is very fun to use. It feels like I'm using custom content when I'm not. I'm going to do desk beside there. I want to get a computer for right here. Maybe not as like bougie as one. Maybe we'll just do like this one, I guess. I'm going to do one of those rugs right there. And I think I need to add more to the walls. We need like full walls up in here. I do want to add the record player from Get Famous. I feel like a record player could have been a cool one for this pack, but that definitely fits the indie feel. On the other side, I've added this shelf, which I still need to get those like hanging clothes in there. I think it's similar to Dream Home Decorator. Yeah, where we can like hang up our own clothes, which I love this feature in The Sims. So we'll just get some clothes like that, hang those up. I'm trying to just find things that match my color scheme really. And then I think behind that I should put a mirror. I might use two actually. I think I want to use this one here and then I might put one in the back. I've also noticed, you know, those like cloud lights. I feel like these end up in indie bedrooms sometimes. So I think I'm going to put a few, maybe even just in the corner. Like I've seen people do that really cool thing with their clouds up on the ceiling. And then it's like a whole thing. It looks really cool. I'm going to get maybe like a plant hanging over here, some clutter up on my shelf. And then because I don't have a skill item in here, I think I might put maybe an easel in this corner just because it's going to fit perfectly back there. And since there's clearly like a music talent happening in here, we should get some guitars. Okay, so this is what we ended up with for the indie bedroom. I love it. This is probably what my bedroom would have looked like if I were here. A ton of the new items up here on this side. We got some skill items and our closet looking a little bit on the messy side. Not too bad. Some guitars in here to play with. And yeah, I love this. I think it looks so cool. Those are going to be used by me all the time. Those new records. I'm very excited about that. Okay, so that's going to be it for this floor. Let's go up. We've got two more to go and let's spin for the next one. We are going to get fantasy. Okay, fun. One thing that this pack is not, I would say, is a fantasy pack. There's not a whole lot of that going on in this. So we're going to have to get creative to see how we're going to get this to work. I might lead into like forest fairy fantasy vibes. So I'm using this new wallpaper. Those trellis things are brand new as well. So I'm also using this again from the Blooming Rooms kit. I'm putting that over top. We need to get a bed, which I'm trying to obviously use as much high school stuff as I can. So anything that matches this aesthetic is what we're going to go for. Let's try this one. This one has more of that like rustic look to it. Might match our forest theme. Ooh, the, the swatches are really fun on here. A lot of variety going on. I have this exact same tapestry in my old living room. Ooh, I love that one too. I feel like I should change up my game plan here. Okay, no, we're gonna stay true. We got this. I have this little guy. I think I'm gonna use all of the little like critters <laughs> that come with this pack, like the mascots. We can put a couple of these around. I've got this plant over in this corner and this here, this new divider is giving like foresty theme. And I do like the idea of this wallpaper being here, but I feel like I need to maybe mute it a little bit. It's a whole lot going on. What if we went for that instead? And then this desk over here, the details were giving me like fantasy a little bit. So maybe we won't put a computer in here. This can just be more of like a homework desk <gasps> with that chair with the flowers on it. Will that match? Or this one's definitely better. It matches my bed. This is going to be the perfect time to whip out that new werewolf lamp from The Sims 4 Werewolves, which RIP to that pack, honestly. She got swept right under the rug. Uh -oh. But this is the one I was thinking about. That can go right there. I'm going to fill this up with a little more clutter. Oh my god, the egg chair. I forgot about the egg chair. Okay, fun fact. I've had my eye on one of these at a store. I've been going and seeing it, waiting for it to drop in price because I want it for my porch, but I guess I'll have it in The Sims. How cute is that? Okay, so this is how I'm going to leave it for my fantasy bedroom. This one might be my favorite, and this one I was very worried about. But we've got our egg chair over here. We've got that divider. It's creating like a really cool space in here. The desk over to this corner for home homework. I added this dresser over here, which matched the yellow in my bed and my light there. And these little guys just reminded me of little like forest creatures. So this could be fantasy forest vibes in this bedroom here. Loving that one. Let's move on to the next one, the final one. And we're going to have to go back to that wheel. So let's spin for the final time. We get chess chic, chess chic. Okay. Finally enough, we actually got a chess table here. Okay. Let's do this. This one's going to be tough. We're going to need to 
lean full into the art deco vibe, I think. I want this one to be fancy. The Sim who lives in this one is going to be classy. Chess chic. She's elegant. Maybe she's here on a chess scholarship. She's dainty. I love this color scheme we have going on so far. We need a little bit more light though. The Sim living in here is gonna be smart, wise beyond their years. I'm going for like a soft, kind of like light academia look a little bit meets art deco. <laughs> Ooh, we could do one of these fun bookshelves in here. Maybe I could put that into this corner. It actually fits right in there. I want to bring these lights back. These are the ones I used downstairs in the indie bedroom. Should I do a night in here? I feel like we should do some night decor. Throwback to Bloomcrest. Oh, a chest night figurine. Oh, perfect. I didn't know that's what that was. Okay, wait, this is going to go in my bookshelf. Are there multiple? No, we'll have multiple though. And we're going to have a night on display here. Obviously like a chess piece right in the middle. I'm going to shrink them down, put them right there. Oh, these are literal chess pieces. I'm going to use these as like clutter. And one of these packs, I think one of the stuff packs has like chess lighting. Yep, here it is. This is from Perfect Patio. Very random, but perfect to use in this scenario. All right, so there we go. We've got chess chic. I actually kind of love this. I love the color scheme in here. This chess table is actually gorgeous. It looks so pretty in that corner. I finally have use for these Perfect Patio things out here. I added just some extra wallpaper details to my bed. And then on this side, we've got our dresser with more of our chess decor. And this has been, once again, every high school dorm is a different aesthetic. I hope you guys really enjoyed this one. I will be linking part one down below if you didn't see that. It's really cool to see these without the new high school pack. Let me know which one is your favorite down below. And this will be on the gallery under Sydney Macaretta for download. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.